Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to dive into an interesting piece of MQL code which allows you to generate trading signals and test these trading signals runtime. Let's get started. Now before we dive into the details, let's take a quick look at the code we'll be discussing today. The code is designed to create various trading signals based on trend analysis using different indicators. It's organized into classes and functions, each with its own role in the trading strategy. At the heart of this code is the concept of trend analysis. Now this class offers multiple ways to assess the long-term trend. For example, you can use moving average crossovers or you can simply use the price change. But what's cool about this piece of code is that everything is explained in the comments. Now the current trend function of the trend class returns the trend, which is either the trend up, trend down or sideways. Now the signal class is where the magic happens. It generates trading signals based on various indicators and the, the determined trend if the trend is enabled. Each type of signal inherits from this base class. The main idea is to use this entry function to determine whether there was an entry signal at the bar we are looking at. It will return a take profit and a stop loss also and based on this take profit and this stop loss we can determine whether it was a buy signal or it was a sell signal. If the take profit is for example higher than the stop loss it was a buy signal. Now let's look at some examples of specific signals implemented in the code. Now the MA crossover signal, this signal uses moving average crossovers to generate trades. When the fast moving average crosses above the slow moving average, it will generate a buy signal. If the fast moving average crosses below the slow, mo slow moving average, it will generate a sell signal. Otherwise it's going to return false. Now the RSI signal, this signal uses the relative strength index to identify potential overbought and oversold conditions. Now the momentum signal generates buy signal if the momentum goes above 50 and if it goes below 50 it generates a sell signal. The MACD signal, this signal uses the moving average convergence divergence indicator to identify potential trend reversals. A sell signal is generated when the main line crosses below the signal line and a buy signal is generated when the opposite happens. A Bollinger Bands signal uses the Bollinger Bands to identify potential breakouts and generates buy signals when the price goes below the lower Bollinger Bands and sell signals when the price goes above the upper Bollinger Band. But what's the point of writing these signals, right? You can write these signals in your expert advisor. Well, it is true. The condition of a moving average crossover are pretty easy. But if it comes down to more sophisticated and complicated signals, you can create here them also, based on the signals I provide in the code. But the most important thing about these signals is that these can be backtested runtime. Let me show you how. Let me introduce you to the probability class. Now this class calculates probabilities of reaching take profit or stop loss levels based on historical price data. Now let's start with the reach take profit function. This function calculates the probability of a price reaching the take profit level before hitting the stop loss within a given number of bars. So in this function we input the starting price, the desired take profit price, the stop loss price and the number of bars to consider and it gives us the probability value back. Now next up is the diff after reached function. This function calculates the average price change after a certain number of bars following the point where the price reached a specific level. Now with the entry success rate you can evaluate the success rate of a trading signal. It gives back the probability of it succeeding in the past n amount of bars and it also gives back the price gained and the maximum amount of the consecutive losses. It gives back many informations needed. And there is an average price change after entry function as well, which is 
based on the same idea as the diff after reach, so what was the price change after a certain number of bars following the entry signal? So here for example is an expert advisor testing these signals. As you can see I created various signals and I also tried the win rate function out. The win rate is a function of a signal using the probability entry success rate function. As you can see in the ONTIC function I always check whether there is an entry at the current, so the zeroth bar. And if there is, then I look whether the tick profit is bigger than the stop loss. If it is, then it is going to be a buy. If it's not, then it is going to be a sell. I'm going to provide all of the code you see here on the MQL code base. You will have a link in the description to the MQL4 and the MQL5 version. I also made a program which can optimize the stop loss, take profit and the parameters of any signal and also allow hedging into your trading strategy. I will have a link in the description to this program as well. Now I discovered many interesting things regarding these indicators, for example that most of the times they are actually bad. But with hedging you can make any strategy work. But I actually made a video about this topic and I Think that you should check it out because it's quite eye-opening. Now that's it for today's video, thank you for watching, hope you have enjoyed. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below. Have a great day.